But we begin with that breaking news we were first to report on our KPRC mobile app. Prosecutors dropped the murder charge against Shauna Thompson. Both she and her husband Terry were accused of killing John Hernandez outside of Denny's near Crosby in 2017. Terry Thompson was found guilty and sentenced. Our Sophia Beausoleil is joining us live tonight with why the prosecution decided to clear Shauna Thompson. Sophia? Well, the district attorney's office says prosecutors met with the family and widow of the victim, John Hernandez. And they say afterwards, that's when they decided to drop those murder charges against Shauna Thompson. So back in 2017, John Hernandez was strangled in the parking lot of a Denny's in Northeast Harris County. He later died. Last year, Terry Thompson was convicted of murder and sentenced to 25 years in prison. His wife, Shauna, a former Harris County deputy, was off duty at the time, and but was at the incident. She was initially charged with murder, but the Harris County DA's office says more than eight lawyers reviewed the case and the records, and they don't believe they had sufficient evidence to convict Shauna Thompson of murder. Now, the DA's office says Thompson's former employment as a deputy sheriff played no role in their decision to dismiss the criminal case, saying equally that it played no role in their decision to present the case originally to a grand jury. Just trying to convict for somebody, we have to seek justice, and sometimes justice for us is disappointment. But that's where we are in this case. We have met with the family for, for many hours uh, in the discussions of why we have gotten here and why we, we need to end the criminal part of this case. The civil proceedings can continue. They're separate and apart. The Harris County Sheriff's Office said in a statement that they are aware of the news today and that currently Shauna Thompson's appeal of her employment termination is pending before a civil service commission. Now, later on tonight at 7 o'clock outside the Denny's where the incident took place almost two years ago, there will be people gathering, folks from John Hernandez's family along with a local activist group that will be at that Denny's. We'll have more for you coming up tonight at 10. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC channel 2 news and we'll look forward to that sophia thank you